Welcome back learners. Just came out of the pool, all dried up now, and ready to delve into some ideas of this new episode. You remember my fall? Okay, yeah, we did it on purpose, but it was actually fun because for once, I could just let myself go to the force of gravity and fall into the unknown. Well, at that moment, I realized just how strong this force really is and how exhilarating. Now, the origin of the word gravity comes from Latin gravitas, which means weight, and is defined as the force by which planets or other bodies draw objects towards their center. What this means practically is that without it, we would all be floating in space. But who thought about gravity in the first place? Well, in ancient Greece, Aristotle, who was born in 384 BC, believed that objects fell towards the Earth because the Earth was the center of the universe. Well, Aristotle didn't have the technology that we have today, but it is interesting that over 2,400 years ago, the greatest minds of the time were already wondering about gravity. Now, more recently, as we mentioned before, Sir Isaac Newton introduced its law of universal gravitation which states that two bodies in space pull on each other with a force proportional to their masses and the distance between them. Well, in this case, the two masses were myself and planet Earth, which obviously is much bigger than me, even though I did gain a little bit of weight recently. So in practical terms, this means that I will always be attracted to the center of the Earth and not the other way around. Now the amazing thing is that we can actually measure the gravitational force that attracts me to the center of the Earth. And of course I know that number, but I will leave it to you back home to find out. For now, I will give you a fairly comprehensive formula to help you calculate it. Now force is equal to capital G, which is the gravitational constant and always stays the same, multiplied to the masses of the two objects, in this case myself and the planet, and it is then divided by the radius squared, where the radius is the distance between the center of the Earth and its surface, which is approximately 6,371 kilometers. Now, fun fact for you, that is about six times the length of PNG mainland. But what about the gravitational force of the center of the Earth? Would it be the same? Would it be weaker? Or would it be much stronger? So let's imagine if we could drill a tunnel from the surface of the Earth right through to the core of the planet and just stand there for a few seconds. How would you feel from a gravitational point of view? Well, to the surprise of many, including myself, we would find out that the gravitational force at the center of the Earth is equal to zero. No gravitational force at all. But why is that? Well because every chunk of the Earth around us will pull me in every single direction and all these forces will cancel each other out. So if you would be in the capsule with me, you would be floating like an astronaut in space. That's so cool, isn't it? We should definitely try that. That would be such a great laugh for our next episode. Oh, but I heard that it's a little hot down there, so... Let's stick to jumping into pools instead. Well, this brings us to the end of this episode, where we discussed a lot about this force of nature that we call gravity, or should we call it gravitas, just to sound just a little bit more sophisticated.